was fun. Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the trains all clatter through. Hey, look at that driver driving. I want to ride that train on blue. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. I want to see what they all do. Come on, let's be round the market. Do you hear that color blue? Everybody's busy selling. I want to buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons perch and coo. Take a taxi ride to the river. I want to drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. What man ting that bell to the loo? I'm gonna ride on right to the school stop where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teachers teach it. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I love to skip and river skipping, go river skipping, go by the sea. I love to skip and river skipping, go river skipping, go by the sea. Me That's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, where the ferry boat sails the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to say hello to you. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Hope and there's Molly. But don't just sit there, Piggles. Let's have fun. <gasps> what have we got there? A cricket bat and balls. balls. Let's play friends. Cricket, you stand there beside of the bat. Whoa, you're too good at this. One, two, three. Hey, good one. Woohoo, now we've got it. Whoa, and run and get it. We've got Hope and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca, yes, with Mickey John. Hello there. Mickey John. Hello. And Rebecca, come away, please, my honey. Thank you, my darlings. We're playing French cricket. Hey, how's that? With a bat. <laughs> oh, why don't you go and dress Claude up as a French cricketer with we spinning tops? And we can have some tea in the pavilion. Come with me, Vicar. Ooh, huh? <laughs> Talking of cricket, Rudy's coming to the school today to play a game of cricket with the children. Ooh. I didn't know Rudy could play cricket. He plays a special sort of cricket. Oh, what's so special about it? Well, to be quite honest, Granny Murray, I don't really know. But uh, I do know everything there is to know about ordinary cricket. Really? How's that? Well, actually, I'm the captain of the River Sea Fingal First Eleven, you know, so I'm familiar with the rules. In fact, our team played a game of cricket last Sunday. Oh, how did it go? We won, of course. <laughs> we were all in until we were all out, and then after we were all out, the other team went in and we got them all out. Oh, I'm sorry, Mickey John. You've got me completely stumped. You're making it all far too complicated. Am I? Yes, you are. Sometimes things are much simpler than you think. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. Wow. Hey, you all hit them for six, Claude. <laughs> well done, my wee honey puffs. Here you are. A ball. <sighs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'll take this to school with me. Oh, you can practice your bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Rebecca. See you Bye. later. Come on, then. Now, remember, sometimes things are much simpler than you thought. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city view Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charts Get
Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school I'm on my way to work today Look in this way and that away Hello, Ali! Hello, doors! Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? Ah, yes. Time for a tie. John! <laughs> what do you got there? It's a ball. Raymond asked me to drop it off. What sport's it for? For cricket. Raymond told me you were playing a match today. Well, we are, but uh, I've never seen a cricket ball that looked like that before. <gasps> Maybe Raymond got confused. Maybe this ball is for our next theatre show. An extravaganza of music, song and the dance. Ah, yes, this ball would make a perfect prop. <laughs> uh, Tina, you're making a lot of noise when you move. You're right. Suddenly gone very quiet. Something was making a noise. I think it might be this ball. Oh, oh yes, it rattles. If you tried to play a game with this ball, everyone would hear it coming. Oh, that's very confusing. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I'll sort it out later when i got more time. Ah, there you go, Mickey John. Bye. Bye. Oh, hello. I love your hair. Hello. hello. Morning, everyone. Come on, let's get sat down. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Lovely. I wonder what Rebecca's doing. I love to skip in River Seeping. River Seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Seeping. Go River Seeping, go that's for me. Oh, hello. Bye bye, Rebecca. Oh, have a lovely day. <laughs> bye. <laughs> What are you doing in school, Daddy? Okay, everyone, you're going to help me do some counting this morning. Now, I'm going to run up and down the classroom, just like a cricketer, and you're going to write down how many runs I make. OK, here I go. One, two, three. Oh, you certainly stopped me in my tracks there, Chuck. <laughs> just as well, or you would have tripped over my line-marking machine. Your line-marking machine? Yes, I brought it over so you can mark the cricket pitch for the game we've really this afternoon. Thanks, Chuck. That'll be very useful. How exactly does it work, Chuck? Well, you decide where you want the line and then push along. Right, and uh, if I pulled it instead of pushing, would the line come out backwards? <laughs> no, it makes no difference. A white line is still a white line. You simply need to press the button to release the paint. Where's the control to make the lines thicker and thinner? Look, there isn't one. It's just off or on. Right, Chuck. So there's uh, switches, lines, paint... Pushing, pulling, oh, it's all very complicated. Um, can you move the line marker out into the corridor and I'll sort out the pitch later? As you like, Mickey John. I hope the game goes well. Bye. OK, bye, Chuck. Thanks for your help. Right, time to get down to a bit of work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. Learning, learning, learning when I teach it. I'm teaching.
teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. The secretary's smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps her shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning All on the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves the stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching They work away All the children peep and eye me As they sit and try their writing I take a look, I mark their books The good ones get a smiley Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning Hi, Mickey John Hi, Louis <laughs> Is it lunchtime? Yes, the children are having their grub Here, Rudy asked me to give you these wickets for this afternoon Oh, that was kind Hey they're a lot bigger than the wickets I usually use. And they're bright orange. <laughs> uh, are you sure they're not for some other type of game? I don't think so, Mickey John. They're just wickets. Oh, oh well. Uh, thanks for bringing them in. No probs, dude. See you later. <laughs> oh, these are a bit too complicated to think about at the moment. I think I'll just store them here at the side of my desk. There. Ah, there's Rebecca's ball. <sighs> I wonder what she's doing now, eh? Will you look all the cars going under the bridge, my darlings? Woo! They're so fast! It's like a river of cars! I know a good game. Let's see if we can count all the red cars, will we? I better get my notepad down, eh? That's the way. There's one! One! Oh! There's one over there! Rebecca, this is what your daddy does when he's an umpire at a cricket match. He breaks down all the scores. <laughs> he's very good at it. Hey, Mickey John. Hey, Rudy. Hey. I just wanted to see if you were still up for the match this afternoon. Of course, I'm really looking forward to it. But, uh... What's the matter? Well, I'm a bit worried, Rudy. You see, Tina brought me in this rattling ball. And then Louis brought in this gigantic orange wicket. And uh, the trouble is, I can't help but think that blind cricket must be a very complicated game. Oh, Mickey John, you've got no worries. Blind cricket, it's much the same as ordinary cricket. Except, well, the ball's a bit larger. And it's got ball bearings in it so the players can hear it coming. Oh, I see. And uh, what about the wicket? Oh, well, the wicket... That needs to be this size, so that the players can feel it and know exactly where they are. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Oh, it's not. At the end of the day, it's still just cricket. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you've marked out the pitch ready for the game. <laughs> see you later. Oh. oh, no. Lunchtime's nearly over, and I haven't marked out the cricket pitch. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Rebecca. The other children had been playing French cricket. That reminded me that Rudy was coming to school later to play a special game of blind cricket. So Rebecca helped to dress Claude as a cricketer. I tried to explain the rules of cricket to Granny Murray, but she said I'd made it sound too complicated. At nine o'clock, I arrived for work. Tina popped in. She brought a special sort of cricket ball with her. I thought I could hear a rattling noise. It was the ball. At ten o'clock, Chuck arrived with a line-marking machine. She showed me how to work it, but it all got too complicated, so I asked her to put it in the corridor. At twelve o'clock, Louis came with some extra-large wickets. They didn't look right to me. Blind cricket seemed very complicated. At one o'clock, when Rudy arrived, he told me that blind cricket was very simple. It wasn't that different from ordinary cricket. Players just used a special ball and larger wickets. As he left, Rudy said he hoped I'd mark the pitch ready for the game. But I hadn't marked out the pitch because it was too complicated. Now remember, 
Sometimes things are much simpler than you thought. Simpler than you think? Of course! I've been worrying about the rules of blind cricket, and the truth is, they're very simple. And marking out the pitch should be simple too. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Mr. Jones, we are friends. He will get there in the end because he has what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, ready to play. You go, Rudy. Oh, good one. Oh. Cheers, mate. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Oh, that's it. And again. Oh, well played, Rudy. Ha, I wonder what games Rebecca's playing this afternoon. The music stops. You have to go. And the rest of us will all shout your name. Hi, Granny Murray. Ah, come oh. a wee through. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? Yeah. You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, oh, to Granny. oh clever girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying sometimes things are much simpler than you think. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> come on, let's get you home. Time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed up as a cricketer after our game of French cricket. And when Mickey John and Rebecca arrived, Mickey John told us all about being captain of the Riversea Fingal First Eleven and how Rudy was coming to school that afternoon to play a game of blind cricket. At nursery, Rebecca played catch. Out walking, we counted how many red cars we saw driving under the bridge and that reminded us of how Mickey John counts the runs when he's playing cricket. And once Mickey John had stopped worrying about the rules and marked out the pitch, he was able to play blind cricket with Rudy. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love Down to the city, <laughs> where the fairy folk set the blue. Time to call on Granny Marie. Bye, bye. She'd love to say goodbye to you. It's peaceful here in the country. No busy streets or noisy traffic, just... I don't think we're going to get any rain today. Talking donkeys. Piglet power! Speeding pigs. Go, 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 go! And flying goats! Take cover! Anything can happen when pedal, digger, gobo and dash get together. Cool! Come and meet the gang down on Big Barn Farm. Weekdays at 8, new to CBeebies. It's almost everything you ever wanted to know about Sid. Let's hear it for Sid, everyone. 
bouncing balls. Here comes Sid, a man of many talents. Just look at that footwork. Do you know which CBB superhero Sid would love to be? Woohoo! Yes, it's Tommy Zoom. Good luck, Super Sid. Tommy Zoom! Do you recognize that child? Yes, it's Sid when he was a little boy. Oh, how cute. And that was almost everything you ever wanted to know about Sid. You know, I'm sure I've seen you before somewhere. I recognize that smile. Yeah, you look quite good. Mm. Oh, well, that's the end of CBeebies on BBC2 for now. But we will be back. Same time, same place, same person. Me. The only other thing we're going to need is you. So be there or be a CBeebies bug. CBeebies thinking big. For little people.